so we know there are some expensive massage guns out there, but there are also some with incredible value. These three are all from Medcursor, each with unique features that come in at or under $100. Let's take a look. Hi guys, I'm Scott with Before You Buy, where we do product reviews to make sure it's what you want before you buy it. And if you're interested in some more fun, engaging, and most important, honest review videos, consider subscribing. Today we are looking at three Medcursor massage guns, the Mini, the V2, and the Heat. Now I've already done review videos on the, the Heat and the V2, and the Mini was actually included in my large comparison, I'll also link down below. Now, why am I doing this video? Well, number one, it's not a sponsored video. They're not giving me approval. They're not reviewing this video at all before I post it. This is my honest opinion, sharing the facts with you to make sure you know which one to order. Because I get a lot of questions because I've been recommending these massage guns because of their value. Their value is off the charts, I think. So I get questions saying, okay, which one should I buy? The Mini or the V2 or the V2 or the Heat or the Heat or the Mini? Uh, so here's the facts. Here's my suggestions. You decide. Okay, here we go. The barely fits in the screen here, but we got all the cases. The cases are good quality cases. You know, they even have their name on them. Um, they're, they're not cases that feel cheap or flimsy or anything like that. They're definitely going to last. I have felt some cheap cases, uh, the products I don't recommend. So these ones, uh, you can see that the tips are slightly different too. And the heat even comes with its own separate carrying case for the case, uh, tips that I actually appreciate. You can throw that in your backpack, okay? So that's one thing to note. The mini comes with these metal tips, okay? I like to use these metal tips for, uh, I either freeze them and um, it feels fantastic on your tendonitis or sometimes I put little ointments on there and then it wipes off nice and easy where the Heat and the V2 do not have the metal tips, okay? But they do have <laughs> something the Mini doesn't have, the squish in the blade. It's not called the squish, but that's what I like to call it. Uh, so it's just a squishy ball, right? So you can squeeze it. These are great around the bones. Um, you know, you're not gonna hit your wrist, but right around there or your neck area, um, anytime that you feel like you might be potentially hitting a bone, this is fantastic. Uh, and then this blade tool is actually great if you're going to do like your IT band or a muscle, you're just going to go right down the whole muscle there. Okay. So those are something to note. And then obviously the heat has the heated head. Uh, so their flat head is actually a heating element in there. Uh, first, let me show you the, the gimmick part. RGB has RGB on it. That's silly. Um, but, uh, it does have a heating element. So if you push this other button, uh, which I talk about in my review, um, it does get, it starts to get pretty warm. So uh, something to think about, um, maybe it'd be nice in the winter. And I talk more about that in the review video if it's a gimmick or worth it. So moving on to some important specs. Let's look at the amplitude. So amplitude, amplitude is how far this head travels back and forth. Now that's important because if there's not enough amplitude, it's not really hitting those muscles, those knots hard enough, unless there's enough stall force. So let's take a look, jumping back over, you can see that the Mini has 11 for amp millimeters for amp amplitude travel, the V2 and the Heat both have the 12 millimeters. Now in use, I can tell you, you're not gonna notice the difference between 11 and 12. Um, and also the stall force, okay? So the stall force, this is a statistic that sometimes I don't fully believe because this one says, the Mini says that it only has a 16 pound stall force where the V2 and V or Heat both say 30. Well, so that might tell you that well, then I definitely don't want the mini because it has half the power. Well, let me let me just show you something real quick. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna turn it up to high, okay? So, watch this. <sighs> Did you see how much pressure I was applying there? We're talking on high. You're, there's a lot of power in this one. Um, and I can tell you within use, I could do that same exact thing on the V2s. So I will say sometimes those specs 
just don't believe it number for number, okay? That's where these reviews, I personally feel, come into play and why I kind of started this channel. I've always appreciated reviews. I wanted to kind of give back to the community. So here we are. Ah, oh, it's a little... <laughs> I did some push-ups yesterday and that... Wow. So now that was on high. So if you, you know, you have it on one of the lower settings, the stall force is pretty small, right? But sometimes that's nice, I think, because then that way it'll stall out before you start pounding on your neck too much. Um, that's one thing I've personally appreciated, but um, you know, I talk about that in my other review videos as well. So speaking of lower speeds, the Mini has five different levels from 1200 up to 3200 RPM. The V2 has four different speeds in three different modes with 12 different speed levels from 100 or 1000 to 3200 RPMs, where the Heat has four different speeds on three different modes with 12 speed levels, 1000 to 3200, right? So these might sound similar because if you look at them, they are pretty much the same massage gun, just with some differences we'll get to in a bit. But so, so again, these ones have different modes, fitness, medical, health. So that basically it just shows kind of different Right, so the fitness is kind of the stronger one. So it starts off at 2000 RPMs. If we go to the medical, this one, as you'll see, it's ramps up. Look at that. I think it's super cool when it shows that on the screen even. And then the, let's get to the third one. The health mode is much lower RPMs, okay? Um, it's just kind of different way of looking at it. I personally don't think it's super important, but I also think um, you know, your use case is different than mine. Um, I think it could be cool to have that kind of ramp up and back down or force only a thousand RPMs. Um, that's very low for the neck, as I mentioned before. So, um, that's one nice thing. Uh, also speaking of this nice digital screen on the back, um, you can see it even has a, a timer on it. So that's, I appreciate that. So as I turn it on here, thousand RPM, um, it tells you number one your battery levels and your number of minutes. So if you're if you're you know working on your muscle and you're kind of curious how long have I even been doing this? Well, the heat does have that timer built in, which I think is fantastic. Uh, along with speed levels, though, comes noise, uh, and I can tell you that noise is a big deal. Why? Because if you have a very loud massage gun, you're not going to want to use it. Um, my friend has one, it's super loud, he doesn't use it. Uh, if you have it quiet, so for instance, let me uh, put in the ball into the mini so you can hear it. So this is so quiet. <clears throat> okay, I'm talking the same volume I've been talking this whole video. It's so quiet that I can be using this, having a conversation, um, even in, you know, whoa! Well, <laughs> you do have to put the head in. <laughs> Come on, Scott. <laughs> uh, so if I go up to medium, I can still be using this, have a conversation with you. And I mean, you got to remember that we're in a very isolated, quiet environment right here where this on a normal conversation level, if you're in a gym or even talking in a living room, like this is not going to sound loud at all. So let me jump back over. You can kind of see the different noise levels where the mini is by far the quietest. Um, and these were all tested by me, just so you know, um, with my phone. So they're equal. It's not just some statistics shown. Um, the mini was only down to 39 decibels. That's insanely quiet. Uh, where, I mean, even, even at the, the loud levels, the fastest speeds on the heat in the V2, uh, you're only talking restaurant levels. Um, and, uh, realistically just sit in a restaurant. Can you have a conversation? Yes, pretty easily. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, I probably, so I like to use these sometimes when I'm watching a movie with my family. I'm probably not going to be on high watching the movie. That's going to annoy my family. But if I'm on low, they're not even going to be able to hear it. Okay, moving on. Now let's look at the size and usability of them all. Uh, I mean, let's just, let's just do this. Okay. Look at the size difference here. Okay. This mini, I mean, you can tell I've used it. Um, this mini is so much smaller and a lot lighter okay uh the i absolutely love the fact 
of the size of this thing, this this one goes in my bag a lot because it's has the power, has the amplitude, but these ones, you know, have a lot longer battery life too because they're bigger, they're heavier and all that. So they can pack a little more in there, okay? So that's one thing to factor in. If you want a much longer battery life, let's go with one of the He or the V2. Uh, if you want size and portability, I'd probably recommend the Mini. Uh, usually I just take one little, you know, one of the heads, throw it in there, put it in my backpack, if you will. Okay, you are good to go. Uh, the other things, as I mentioned, uh, these ones have the three different modes, three different speeds, um, and the on-off power switch on the bottom. Okay, that's something to note. Where the Mini, you have to push and hold the power button to turn it on, and then you push it again. Okay, so pros and cons there, right? So if you, the, the amazing thing is, for this one, I can just flip it on, keep it on, and then turn up the speed, turn it back off. Turn up the speed, turn it back off, right? Uh, and then when I'm all done, turn off the massage gun. Okay, so if you're in a mid conversation, you wanna stop, or you, you, know, you wanna be done massaging yourself for a few minutes, you just turn that off, turn it back on, it's ready to go instantly. The mini, first world problem I know, you gotta push, hold it, wait for it to turn on, and then cycle through. Uh, and you can't just go back down a speed, you have to go all the way, through the speeds, now you can see it's still on, right? But it's not going, right? So this is similar to the on switch. If I wanna fully shut it off, I have to push and hold, and it's off, okay? So there's pros and cons there to the power switch versus the push and hold button, but they're not deal breakers, okay? Uh, one downside to the power switch, I would say, is the fact, how do you do it one-handed, you know? if uh, your other hand's occupied, you know, you're working on a client maybe or whatever, and you want to just do, use one hand, you got your water bottle in your other hand, I don't know, again, it, nitpicking here, right? But ultimately it comes down to it's not a big deal, just pointing out some features. One thing I do appreciate is the fact that the mini hides the button on the side, okay? So that way when I'm pushing down on it, I'm not accidentally bumping those buttons, where on this one, um, you know, the buttons are kind of on the back, so you might, the, the, the nice thing is they are kind of inset. Um, you can kind of see the ridge there. But on the heat, it's a digital screen. So, um, you know, if you accidentally touch, I mean, just pushing on the back, it's gonna start changing speeds on you. Um, again, not a huge deal. You can, you know, work around that. You know, there's even a little mark up here that you can push on, but not a huge deal. I just wanna make sure you guys fully understand what you're getting here. So let's talk about value. Again, these have incredible values for everything you get, the speed, the power, the amplitude, the size, depending on what you want, the price is insane. $89 for the mini, plus a 10% off coupon currently that Medcursor has, which is incredible. Same with the V2, the $89 with the 10% off, so keep that in mind. The heat is currently at $110. I have seen that down to $100 because of a uh, coupon that they have. So keep that in mind. But all I got to say is, wow. I mean, we're talking <laughs> an incredible massage gun for $89 plus 10% off. What's that? $8.90 off. So, oh my gosh. We're talking basically $80 for a massage gun. Are you kidding me? Um, that can do what these things can do with the speed and amplitude and power and quiet and <laughs> it's incredible to be honest. I am just fully blown away. Um, now again, real quick, which massage gun do I use? Because I know you guys are going to ask. I hope this helped kind of explain to you the pros and cons to each one, because I want you to decide which one's best for you. But for me, I go with the mini because the size, the portability, the quietness, um, it works for me. Okay, so some perspective, I'm a 39 year old dad, but I, I do American Ninja Warrior. I work out really hard twice a week, but I, you know, I'm very active. I work out other days as well. But this one is more than strong enough to do everything I need, okay? So keep that in mind, battery life is great, but there's some features on the V2 and the heat. You know, the heating element, the different modes, the different heads, so keep those in mind. 
But all in all, I hope this video helped you. And if so, please consider using those links down below. Um, I threw a lot of information at you, but I just really hope it helped because that's the whole point of a review video. So if you do have other questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll answer everyone. Till next time.